There are still a lot of questions tonight about how this all happened. CMPD did say today both an AR-15 and 40 caliber handgun were found at the home. They are working to figure out if anyone besides the suspect who was killed fired shots at officers. Channel 9's Joe Bruno is live outside the home tonight, and Joe police are questioning the woman and the 17-year-old who were in the house at the time. CMPD is still trying to figure out what exactly happened inside this home during that standoff here on Galway Drive. This home, like the entire city, is in shambles right now. But police and everybody in this community will forever honor the lives that were lost. You know, the last few days have it's just been very tough. It has been an incredibly difficult 24 hours for Chief Johnny Jennings, police officers, and the entire Charlotte community as they mourn the loss of four public servants who died protecting others. My heart goes out to everybody involved because this affected everybody. Hundreds, if not thousands, have stopped by to look at the home on Galway Drive. We were there as people entered the home to put belongings in a U-Haul. They wouldn't say anything. Ma'am, is there anything you want to say about what happened yesterday? No, sir. What was Terry doing at the house? No Chief Johnny Jennings is walking back his statement that there was an additional shooter besides the suspect, Terry Clark Hughes. But he told ABC News the department is reviewing body camera footage and he isn't ruling it out. Yeah, I, I was probably premature in saying that because it wasn't really clear at the time. Uh, we do know that there were officers felt like there were additional shots fired after they thought the suspect was down. The investigation will take time. So will healing. Everybody has been affected by it in some form or fashion. So it's just something that it's a message in this madness. Lord willing, we'll pick it up. And there were two other people inside that home during this shooting. The CMPD chief says that both of them have been questioned and they are cooperating. He is not rolling out criminal charges in the future. As we mentioned, Officer Joshua Iyer's funeral is Friday morning at 10 at the First Baptist Church in Uptown. The funeral arrangements for the three other fallen officers have not been announced yet. Live in East Charlotte, Joe Bruno, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.